less I admire anybody. That's a good one. <laughs> I like some people. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. um, uh, I I admire anybody who stands up and does what they want to do, even mm. when it's. I have some <laughs> other dead people's bears. Oh, cool. I have I plenty of dead bears. <laughs> the hard thing to do in the circumstances of their lives. And we're almost done with these questions, and we'll go out and Are these answers some. okay? Are they too short? No, they're good. I've got a lot to work with here, especially if I can transpose some of the disk. Yeah, I'll give it to you. And then, um, what are your ingredients for the romant for a most, most romantic evening? Oh. <laughs> give me your ingredients. What we God, it depends on the mood. There, you know, there are many levels of romance uh, for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's important? What do you have to have around you? Okay. Dildo, uh, stra <laughs> <laughs> Good lighting. Good lighting, good. Maybe a, a uh, joint. Yeah. Um, does that'll do. <laughs> the light, does the romantic evening always have to transpire in your house, in your bed, and you're going to be somewhere else? I recently... I've romantic outside, definitely. Yeah, I recently had a, one of the most romantic evenings I've ever had in my life at the Metropolitan Opera <laughs> in New York. I can imagine that. Uh -huh. The oh my evening God. in the air, yeah. the air with the right person, uh -huh. and all that sort of thing. So, I just don't want you to think of the environment. The environment's important, yeah. Mm -hmm. Your environment. Huh? Anything where you feel comfortable with yourself and somebody else and it feels intimate. Mm -hmm. and it feels Is there any inside. place you can think of where you would like to be in a situation like that offhand? Down by the ocean, mm -hmm. the wind blowing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. something girly like that. Okay. <laughs> and. Um, What's next for you? Uh, more we graphic novel on. stuff, more comic strips. Mm -hmm. um, they're getting funnier, yeah. which is really cool. Mm -hmm. It started so very serious about this, you know, like mm -hmm. a mentally disturbed child, and now it's, well, it's still about a mentally disturbed child, but it's more funny. Mm -hmm. um, for example, I'll give you my latest comic strip. I'll just tell you what it is. Yeah. Frank the Bear, my mm -hmm. character, yeah. Fuzzy Bear, mm -hmm. says, I'm going to get into S&M. Oh. So he goes to the <laughs> Citadel. Uh, Walks inside and sees the S and M daddy. He's like, I want to get into S and M. Yeah. Says, well, looks down at the bear and says, Well, you need to figure out what your role is. Mind you, he's a teddy bear. He's all sewn up and looks kind of fucked up. <laughs> um, he goes and sits down in the lounge, looks around, figures mm -hmm. it out. He says, I got it. He looks over and sees all these people in cages, and he runs over, and he unlocks them all real quick and opens them up and says, You're free to go. Run, run. Uh -huh. And the S and M daddy walks over and says, sort of shakes his head and he goes, I'm sorry. I think I misunderstood the assignment. <laughs> uh, so that's Frank the Bear's S and M experience. Cool. And you're doing a collaboration with Rick. We are. Cool. Rick, that looks good. Rick, Rick Worley. Uh -huh. It's um, the teddy bear, hot bear on bear action, where they uh -huh. have a duel to the death, and it's very cute. He has a fondness for bears too. He has a, a, a teddy bear in his comic strip, and so do I. Do you ever take in stray bears? I, I someone died and left me a couple of the teddy bears. Uh, I think it could be a current trend. <laughs> And you, you still have them? Of course. Okay. If someone just, leaves you your teddy bear, you accept that's it. That's just a personal <laughs> question because I, I have a treasure that you're describing mm. to the T. Oh, really? Uh, that someone died and left me and their left teddy, you bear. teddy bear. Yeah, and, you got to keep it. Uh huh? Yeah. But I would, I'm the type who would give someone something, who someone who had more of appreciation for it than myself. Uh huh. Uh -huh than myself. And you're describing that the bear kind of tattered and stuff like that, mm -hmm. to the T. You know which bear I'm talking about? Yeah. 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 I, I always, I I always regretted not taking that from his house uh -huh. after he died. I have it. It's like just shoved in just the corner the couch. It's just the most fantastic uh -huh. stuff. It's almost it's like meant for you. It's I will total. take an all straight bear so and care for them. It's the <laughs> cockat teddy bear. It's so I will give him a great home. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh. He can hang out with this fucked up soul here. Uh -huh. They'll be friends. This one looks like it's almost sewn together. Kind of like, looks like, kind of like the bear. Well, it kind of looks like this. I can't. Yeah, it looks so. like the one of the pieces. <laughs> so I don't know how to sew.